Nicki Minaj isn't a fan of her own work. During a night performance in Miami, Florida, the beginning of her tune Starships began playing before she waved off the band and asked them to stop. Hold on. I don't perform that song no more, y'all, she told the disappointed crowd, who began booing. I don't like it. What y'all want me to do? Stupid song. The mom of 141 went on to play her song Super Bass. Videos of the incident began making the rounds on social media, prompting fans to express their disappointment with Minaj. That song is still paying her bills, one person wrote on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. It's what got us all loving you. Don't forget about US, wrote one fan while another said, she's so tasteless, that's top 5 pop Nicki songs. Tasteless Ong, agreed someone else. The Grammy nominee also made headlines on New Year's Eve after she revealed her New Year's resolution on CNN's broadcast celebration. My New Year's resolution is to keep my foot on these B necks, she said, which left co-hosts Andy Cohen and Anderson Cooper confused. Well, wow, who is she referring to? Cooper asked, to which the Bravo star quipped back, these B. Minaj had a whirlwind year, admitting the birth of her and husband Kenneth Petty's son caused trouble in their relationship. I'm not going to lie, things got testy between us, she confessed in an interview. Because of our history, I think we knew we'd get past it. But there's no such thing as confidence in parenthood. I kind of wish that someone had told me, although I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to understand it, that there's a level of anxiety, and you think it's going to go away, but in fact it gets scarier, she spilled. So often you think, I don't know how to do this? She also shared details for the first time about her drug addiction, explaining she became dependent on Percocet after being prescribed the medication years ago for severe menstrual cramps. No one told me that this was a narcotic and this was addictive, she stated. Luckily I was able to ground myself. But, once an addict, always an addict. I feel like if you've ever experienced addiction to anything, which I have, you always have to think twice and three times about the choices that you make, she added, noting her father struggled with drug addiction as well.